rule of law was shattered on the streets of Hong Kong tonight. Violence erupted across almost every single district as a ban on wearing face masks came into force. The city descended into a dangerous state of urban warfare. The protesters hunkered behind umbrellas and armed with petrol bombs. The police with rounds of tear gas and rubber bullets. This off-duty police officer fired his gun as he was confronted by an angry crowd. And during the chaos, a 14-year-old boy was shot in the leg. The chief executive has invoked colonial-era emergency powers to prohibit the wearing of masks or even face paint to prevent identification at public rallies or marches. It is essential for us to stop violence and restore calmness in society as soon as possible. We hope that the new legislation can help us to achieve this objective. Thousands took to the streets to show their defiance at a law which they say further erodes their freedom. I think it's ridiculous. You, you can't just do that in the middle of a crisis right now. It's going to make everyone even more angry to come out. And uh, even those who were like, you know, home before or who doesn't want to come out before, it's going to retaliate. <laughs> In a week when an 18-year-old was shot in the chest by police, this marked another dangerous milestone in the four months of protests which have gripped this city. As the clock struck 12 and the ban took hold, fury was shown with fire. It has just gone midnight here in Wong Tai Sin and this is the protesters' response to the introduction of emergency law. All it appears to have done is given the police more power and made the protesters more determined. There were running street battles late into the night. It is just hours old, but already the mask ban has been defied and ignited more anger. Debbie Edward News at 10, Hong Kong.